ladies are going to be asking questions to the three men here. Can you separate sexual intercourse versus feelings? Okay, I have a confession. Oh. Oh. Would you rather face a bear or a man? Why the f would you choose the bear? That's crazy. You men suck. Hey, never mind, I edit cut this out. <laughs> Why are men so defensive? This is your daily catch up. Boom. Welcome to another episode, everybody. So Ooh. in our last few episodes, we did like an Ask Man episode and it did very well. And even though I said enough, right? Mm. <laughs> apparently did. there is more because we <laughs> asked on our community, ladies, do you have any question for men? And there were 300 comments. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, so it was but you know happy, right? At the 300 comments. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah she was no. a bit busy. <laughs> Explain yourself. Okay, okay, not that I'm unhappy. Okay, so the 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 other track we have, which is men, what question you have uh, for the ladies, right? There were like 150 plus. comments. Okay. But then the ladies asked men, there were 300 comments. It's so many comments because the men are replying. Oh, the, the men, men are getting yeah. It's not that the discussion. women are asking questions. Yeah, but then in the men ask ladies chat, right? Some guy said, Ladies, why do ladies like to yap so much? <laughs> then I'm like, do you see the comments? I see. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you for still participating. Thank you for the yap. The yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alison, thank you for the yap, Alison. Okay. Okay. Today we have Liz with us. Yeah. 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 So sure. we have six people in total today, three women yes. and three men. Yes. And for this episode, the ladies mm. that represent all women oh are God. going to be asking questions <laughs> to the three men here. Who represent, who represent, all, men. All, who represent men. all men. <laughs> and the questions that we're going to be answering are from... Our TDK community. We're now 6,000 strong at time of filming. Thank you. If you haven't joined yet, there's a QR code right here. 6,700. Oh, yes. <laughs> By, by the Thanks time this goes out, it will be very so. 6,800. Oh, okay, first question. Know. This question is actually from Sherms. Oh, uh, yes. Can you separate intercourse, sexual intercourse versus feelings? Yes. From feelings. <laughs> For example, right, when you go to a, like um, a massage, sketchy massage. Oh, happy ending. Yeah, or like a prostitute, or you see, or you see a girl mm. that's very like attractive to you. La, mm. But you don't feel any... Uh, feelings towards that person, you just think like, wow, hot. But isn't that just a one night stand? Is that just a hookup, right? So you're asking us if can. Can lah. So you can in have sex. Really <laughs> no, 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 let's explore it. So in your relationship, no, you I'm can so have confused. a one night stand. No, no, no. I think for men, as because we represent men, right? No, you represent all yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that depends on what you say. And women. All of men of all mankind. Like, so many people hook up. Uh, hook up culture is a thing, right? Mm. And so, and that, that in itself proves that you can have sex with somebody without feeling anything for them. So isn't that scary? Like if I go on a date with a guy, like, let's say if I was single, right? And then like, let's say we do have, I feel a lot and then I want to do the deed. Uh -huh. Then the person might just act like he is just into me, right? Yeah. Just to do the deed. But actually he feel nothing. Ma. Cause uh -huh. he don't tie like intercourse with feelings. Which is why you should not do the deed on the first date or the second date or the third date. <laughs> Unless just you like wait till marriage. No, I mean wait till you <laughs> develop a relationship. At least it's your boyfriend. So you're alluding to the fact that you can't separate sexual intercourse with feelings. So when you have sexual intercourse, you must have feelings for the person. Is that what you're saying? And so then you feel that it's unfair if the other person can separate those two things. I'm exactly like that. No, I say I. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I'm what? just I'm just saying that there is a population of people that can hook up, no? Yeah. 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 That they can they can have sex without feelings, but then there are other people like myself that I cannot. So then I just don't. Nah. Oh, you belong yeah. to the letter camp. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Do you get attached to porn stars? <laughs> like, you remember their names? To search, like, you book. Then you search. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you they got new material coming out. <laughs> but this question is surprising me. It doesn't surprise me I at all. I think I yeah. can separate it. Because, okay. I mean, it's, it's a bodily need, right? But I think my criteria is quite strict. For example, I need to know the person is clean. Like, when was the last time you went for STD check? Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, when you have sex with other people that you aren't in a relationship with, are you safe? Like, do you use condoms? Right, and, all, right. and all that kind of stuff. And, and like, for example, how many people are you sleeping with right now? Like, I need to have that conversation with you uh -huh. before I can engage in anything with you. So if um, when I'm single, I actually do have a friend that like, you know, we do stuff together with. Whoa! And, but, but that's when I'm single. And he's single as okay. well. <laughs> you know? Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, but no, no feelings. Interesting, these people. No, we like each other very much as friends, and we have known each other for like over ten years. But is it not wow. strange? That's so convenient. No, and, and the thing is, my body <laughs> count never goes up. 
。哦、oh, <笑>，哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈 So let's say you met someone that you like. Okay. Then you go back and tell this best friend this long term. The arrangement is off. It's it's okay. it's, 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 it's like thing. Yeah. No no no. Is he like no okay, and okay. and if he gets attached immediately, I know that the thing is off as well.、Mm. Or even if he doesn't get attached. Then gone out then. Then rejoin again, like date separate、yeah. people, break up and come. Yeah, of course. Oh, in season two. A few so, times. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. I think that I think the question I think the question is. You should marry him. What? Hey, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I know where we're now. Whoa! <laughs> When you're seeing somebody, are you still friends with this person? Like, do so, you still hang out? Yeah. So that's the thing. So this guy and I, we are very transparent with with our thoughts and our、mm. feelings. So we've also discussed that you know, if if his partner doesn't like me, I'm totally okay. He's done it before. He's ghosted me in the entirety of his、oh. relationship. Right. And if I'm in a relationship and my partner isn't very comfortable. I am okay to distance myself from him because we understand that it's、mm. relationships do take priority over the friendship. Interesting. It's、yeah. it's a very unique friendship. Yeah. How do you yeah, tell? Yeah, how do you、beautiful. tell your partner that? I'm very honest, just from the get go. Like this is my friend. I, I wish did. I have him multiple、oh. times. If we break up,、oh. I will continue fucking him. <laughs> But if you're not comfortable with it, that's crazy. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Nobody will be comfortable with it. I'm in a relationship with you, right? <laughs> Trust me, it is completely platonic.、Yeah. Like nothing happens between a guy and I、uh, anymore. Then if you all hang out as group like friends, that kind, then isn't that strange? Like if your partner like, okay, I think that's a bit weird. So that's、right. one area I have never crossed. I've never introduced him to my current partners.、Uh, yeah, I think, I, think yeah, yeah, I think it's a bit weird. Yeah, I think it's a bit weird. Too much already. That one. That's why, like, like、so、I, initially I was thinking like, then is that really a friend? But I feel like the definition of it is very different because a lot of things are conditional.、Uh, I feel、in、like some ways transactional. You know what I mean? Like friendships. It's a buddy. Yeah, yeah lor.、Like, it's more. It's more of a friend with benefit.、Yeah. You know. It's more the benefits than the friend, lah. No, but he still is a very, very good friend. We know each other very, very well. No, but you、yeah. say that you're willing to cut him out、mm. because of your relationship, right? Yes, because、is、relationships do take the priority. So, do you have partners that have been okay with you still hanging out with this friend? Yes. And then when you guys hang out, it's just purely yeah. The learning is、yes. fine. Yes.、Oh, mm. wow. So interesting. Absolutely.、Oh. That has your current partner ever <laughs> suggested a three way? <laughs> What? No, lah. No, she just a two man three way. Oh, that, that doesn't make sense. No, I suggest. What you do? <laughs> just do the Eiffel Tower. Then you have to make eye contact. No, no, no. That's the number one rule. Just no、that's、eye contact. Just like that. Yeah. 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 Will start like splitting from this thought,、mm. and they tend to date younger women. Then women are still in that phase of life. I think that that's why it becomes a problem.、Mm. But I think if you look at our parents' generation, right, it seems very normal.、Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, and and I'm not talking、sex? about my own parents. Yeah, like I'm talking about uncles and aunties, or even like friends that are older. Right, they just they go to a legal brothel, and it's not like they tell their wife I'm going brothel. It's just that the wife kind of know he he also no, not really hiding. And it's just it's just like this. Of、oh, course, the wife don't want to suck his like fifty year old dick anymore. So he's just gonna pay someone else to do it. Then he's just gonna come back.、Uh. <laughs> and it's just older marriages just do be like that. Yeah, I realize.、Wow. I don't know any older Some, marriage. Yeah, yeah I also don't know any、yeah. marriage. Like. John, I don't know what kind of old people you're hanging out with. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> on a, on but a, technically, he's on that track, lah. <laughs> <laughs> no man singer. This this and that was just him finding excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All his experiences all slowly <laughs> leading him to it. <laughs> 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 on, on a different note, like I think、um, the the other way in which sexual intercourse can be separated from feelings, it wasn't for for Ned and I. We made Oli out of love, but I think there's some parents where they feel they need to time sex、Aww. so that they can like try for a kid.、Uh, I would imagine those sexual intercourse sometimes you、feel. can't always have that feeling element because it becomes so mechanical after a while. Right, you know,、right. so I think that is one instance of having a proper answer to this question. <laughs> Moving、Thank、on. You, Daddy no、Dad. problem. No problem. <laughs> That was a good answer. Next、Thank、question.、You. Why do guys who are already in relationships still like to like or follow sexy girls and join shady group chats? Do they not think about how it will affect their girlfriends if they found out? Like, what are their thought processes when doing such inconsiderate things? Honestly, well, right? I've heard of this before. I cannot understand it. I, yeah. And 
I, I think to, to the women out there, right? If you're in a relationship with somebody who is in this kind of accounts, right? I think you should bounce, yeah. Bounce? Yeah. I think it's stupid. I think you should yeah. get out of the relationship. Okay, I have a confession. Whoa. At the oh. point of the SG Nasi Lemak thing, right? You join. I got to go in <laughs> to see what it is. And also search our own names to make sure that everybody clean. Because it's not just news. No, but oh. is it not They got weird? gossip also. Wait, wait, wait. So- right, wait, wait. What I realized was that, that said lewd telegram chat, mm. the members are not hidden. So, yeah. and I go inside. You see your friends. I saw lecturers. Oh. I saw friends. I saw friends in the finance industry. Ooh. I saw Maybe they also like you like going to see only. Invo- it's yeah. true, I didn't join. They probably oh, think the same way about you. Join oh. to see. I see and then I f*** off la. And then the most incriminating trace is that it was in my search list of which I delete la. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I don't know why they join knowing that it can, everybody can, can to them. see you inside. Yeah. I have clients that I saw on the <gasps> list. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but you see, secret safe with me. Not so that you can safe, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but if you like looking, right, then you suddenly, let's say you're searching for, say, Alison, lah, okay? You want to check whether got she can anything. What you just mean? Then, right? example, example, example. Then if you see her nudes leak or something, then how? I tell yeah. her. Now, was was it not weird like, for hey, you? By the way, I was on edgy. How are you going to tell her? I think he just came up with the best reason to go and search for SG. <laughs> <laughs> so now if he's found in any of no, your no, groups, no. Uh, you know. I, I go you inside mean. just for, to be to curious, curious. Then to, when to I scroll, curious. then I realize there was a lot of influencers inside. So then I started checking influencers. Oh my God. Yeah. Great. But why if they are all inside to check also? <laughs> yeah, he's they saying could, going they to could, They could have legitimate reasons. Maybe they work in PR company. Mm. So they are just taking care of their stable. Mm. Can also shoot. But no you also la. know the personality of those people. La. No, but it, it goes back to the, the question also, and like John Paul mentioned, like why would you follow or join a group when it can clearly trace back to you? Because like follower list is public information. Joining a Telegram mm. group is public information. I think I've heard of this. I think it's damn stupid also. I think at some point, guys like to see naked body, but they're just stupid. They're just stupid. Or it's those people that just don't use incognito when they watch porn, you know what I mean? No, but I think in this specific question, it's it's someone in a relationship and the partner has made it very clear that I'm not happy you're doing this. Mm. So it's not like stupidity is an excuse anymore. Like, you know this is upsetting your girlfriend. Why do you still continue mm. doing it? Why do you, mm. why do you, why don't you stop? He's stupidity, right? right? Because he can leave no trace. Yeah, he can do it in a way <laughs> that like, does not, not saying that we're, con- like we're condoning yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And it's also the interaction. Like, you, watching porn to jack off is different from following an influencer and then yeah. engaging with their content. There's an emotional element to really it. Really? Not- yes, yeah. it's very what different. You, you can with? just see a, a photo, like it, appreciate it, and then scroll past. But why do you have to like it? Why do you have to leave a comment? The engagement yeah. feels like you're trying to Be seen possibly by initiate something. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay, so then say, let's say the guy, right, never go and like or comment. Lah. He see only, but he follow this this influencer, this right. female influencer, but he use it as material. Can or not? To, like to, to jack off. Yeah, oh. you ask women. No, 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 can or not? No, I asked no, first. Can or not? I asked first. Can, can or not? I think it's the same as guys watching porn, right? Yeah, no, like, they, they need material. But I think there's a difference between like watching an international porn star that seems very uh, far away versus uh, like, like an influencer you could just bump into. Also in cannot support local. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> in this instance, I feel like, yeah, don't. Yeah, better don't, better don't, yeah. Because I think like watching porn to jack off is, is transactional, but once you have the element of like, maybe I can actually meet her, yeah. mm. it becomes too, too, close too to real home. already. Yeah, yeah, too close to home. How long do you guys actually take to, to, to poop? Oh. <laughs> or are you just like on, on Reddit the whole goddamn time? I think since oh. phones and social media, the poops take longer. Like how long, how long? Like put a minute to it. I just l- lose track of time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I need minimally 20 minutes, but huh? it's because I am severely constipated. Like I only poop like once every four or five days. Oh so like, like when I go right, it's a week full. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And a bag. It's, and it's not like I'm just scrolling Reddit with nothing to do, right? It's, it's just non-stop action for 20 minutes. No, what so do you mean? Like maybe there's a five minute break and then <laughs> I know it starts again. Like like the, slushy machine. A five minute break is two sheets. Yeah, yeah. 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 slushy machines for every 
<laughs> but, no, no. So, okay, to answer your question, I take a shit when he takes a break. <laughs> there's, there's always a journey. Yeah. So it starts off solid first and yeah. then usually after a while it ends up being like, uh. a, like a slurpy. Okay, okay. Uh. Like, uh. Yeah, yeah. I asked because John took a very quick shit just now before <laughs> filming. I already had my big shit this morning. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. <laughs> how do you have so double this shit? Is the left, this is the second shit, yeah. <laughs> this is the second shit because in the car I got water bottle, you drink water. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then that do stir up some shit, no? I'm so no. jealous. <laughs> No, yeah, is, yeah, it true, true, like true. is it always there? Is it always there for you? You have one big and then one small. Like right now, right? Right now, if you I'm gonna go to the you. toilet and then the urinals are full, I sit down at the cubicle. You can more. shit, you will shit. I will just take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just always have wow. I just always oh. have a bit. Oh, so you have a, a lot of control, is it? I don't know. Or the lack of his <laughs> ass is all the time. <laughs> So interesting. I eat a lot so la. I also cannot, I cannot. I, I'm like then like that. I can sit there and then sometimes I like nothing. Yeah, Dude, missing. my father take a shit in half the time and take a piss, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, serious, serious. Sometimes, right, when your pants are a bit complicated, got belt, that kind, yeah. right? You unbuckle, you sit down, uh, you haven't shit yet, your pee come out, my father went out. <laughs> <laughs> and he took a shit, he always sticks out the whole toilet, yeah. Oh my god. He's so efficient, so efficient. It doesn't take him long, right, to really poop up until the whole f- toilet know he's taking a shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I sometimes I walk there and check your blood. Now cannot be so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it just can't be that fast. <laughs> but no, I respect it. Respect yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned it. That's yeah, the yeah, level yeah. you like, go like, to. Yeah. Boom, stand yeah. up. Oh, oh, but there are those oh, good, me. good shit <laughs> sessions, right? Well, after the yeah. session, right? You feel like you lost like two kg at least. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, then you go weigh yourself. Then you realize no difference. I do that all the time. What is your the? Yesterday only, routine. I took a shit, I tell Pat I can't see. Huh? Dude, it, it rests above the waterline, eh. Sometimes it's just crazy. Eh. <laughs> Why you ask Pat to see? Yeah, but she was showering, so she didn't come. Do, uh-huh. do you prefer She the... said, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you ever yeah, been so proud of a shit that you took a picture? Yo, I did, I once did. Once every two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. just like, whoa. No, go yeah. on that I never cut. <laughs> <laughs> Then I was on the squat toilet yeah, yeah, in Japan, like oh, no choice. Like, like, then I had to, write, write your I had name, to walk. Your name. No, I had to like like that, like that shuffle in front yeah, so yeah. that it don't water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Then I was like, water, oh water. my god! Then yeah. I feel like I took a picture. I was like, wow! It's wow. the first time I never cut. That's how much gravity will cause the thing to dislodge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but, gravity but then for the waterly, <laughs> just I birthed like a poop. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you, you you wrote the first syllable of your name L. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send that photo to anyone? Did you show you? Do you still have it? No, I was <laughs> waiting outside the toilet. I remember. Then I was like, guys. I had the best shit ever. Wow, I want to see this. Japanese food. I feel like I flashed that. <laughs> no, you, had the, you had a question about no, toilet. No, I want to know, you know when guys go toilet, mm. do they line the seats with the toilet paper before you sit down? If it's public toilet, yeah, 100%. Hmm. 0%. Huh? <coughs> you just sit. It's uh? really rough. Enough. Enough. Yeah. I would take the toilet paper, I will go to the basin, I will wet it, I will wipe it, then I'll just sit down like a normal person. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> like a normal person. Do you line it all the time? No? Do huh? you? Huh? I always like, like one, two, three, then I must cover this area. Yeah, yeah. Then if it's the auto flush, then I take it a shit. I must but take one then, toilet paper right, to cover the sensor, right? So it don't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there I sit down. It's always like a, there's a chevron here, a chevron here, two <laughs> long ones here. And then you got to roll up a lot, right? Put it inside. So yeah, so it won't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you, you always do that. Earth? Always do it. Like, especially here, always do that. <laughs> Happy you imagine that? there was a time people just shed on the ground. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 now we need like, we need to chop three trees for yeah. shit. Eh. I just get very uncomfortable when like I'm rushing, right? like urgent, right? Then I go in and a ju- guy get, just came out and then the yeah. sea is still warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that a bit actually. Then you feel like you're sleeping in it. Your ass cheeks touched. His ass kiss. Oh, you line the toilet paper? No, but I, I clean up, but I don't like it. Yeah, I clean up. Yeah. Yeah. No, you made me feel like Barbarian for two minutes, then everybody never lines down, only this guy. This is why I appreciate the ion toilets because I think they were the first few, right? That you they put a sanitizer. Oh, yeah, sanitizer. Yeah. 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 yeah, I appreciate those toilets. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't use the sanitizer, I just clean. If but I'm lazy to clean, I will just do the half squat. Oh, okay, I'm not so strong. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you take a yeah. shit, how do you take a half squat? Yeah, oh, no, I if I take a shit, I will line for sure. Oh, but oh, if not. But I got one time I pee the half squat, then suddenly I feel the shit coming out, so I half squat shit. Now I was like, wow. I didn't know I had it in me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> literally. Okay, next question. Have you seen the men, like there was a post, right, about men on dating apps dressed up as bears now? <laughs> 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 
And we should give context. What's the question? The full, uh, the so original the, the question. full question is like, if you were lost in the lost woods, in the woods yeah. would you rather face a bear or a man? And mm-hmm. then a lot of women choose say, I'll choose the bear. Because mm-hmm. they think choosing Safer. a man is way worse. Right. Yeah. Which has then been met by a crazy reaction from guys saying, why the f*** will you choose the bear? That's crazy. Which yeah. I've also said in real life. So did the three of yeah. you all choose bear? I choose bear. I choose bear. I bear. No, she she said she initially chose bear. Okay, you say, yeah. okay, well, no, guys, just, how to look more like a bear? <laughs> no way. We will choose. We will choose men, right? For sure. We have chosen men. I will choose men. Hundred percent choose yeah. men. Okay, 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 I have a theory. Play along. Okay. Okay. If you are gonna get attacked, which one's more dangerous, a brown bear or a black bear? I would a think brown. brown bear. Do you know for certain what the answer is? Actually, brown. Do you black, know for certain bear. what the answer is? Not a clue. Okay. So my theory is men do know or have like we watch random documentaries about animal attacks and stuff like that, right? Which we like, right? We know for a fact that brown bears or even black bears can outrun you and then when to play dead, when to try and scare the bear back. Mm-hmm. You know? No. Do you all know when to play dead, when to huh? which bear to do what? No. But do you know? No. But have you watched a documentary on it? Is The Revenant a documentary? <laughs> 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 my, my I just don't ask for a pole. Yeah, yeah, put in the mouth, right? No, yeah. if, if you if they bite your hand, then push deeper. <laughs> so, yeah, so the nose yeah. in the nose. My theory is guys more that like to watch mm. those wilderness kind of video, mm. and then like just happen to read up about bears and watch bear attacks, right? That's over. You just know how yeah. how crazy that is. No, I just think it's a very sad answer because like I think we live in a world where if you don't have the capabilities to protect yourself, then it's on you, lah. But then to just choose a, a kind of like a, to me, a, a lesser option because you don't have the skill set to protect yourself. Against men? Yeah. Like regardless of the outcome. Yeah. Or even if you encounter a bear, right? Then similar to your argument, right? It's like no get, la, get the skills to protect yourself. La. No, but but that's a bit unfair. How can you say that we don't have the skill set to protect ourselves? Biologically, men are already stronger. How are we- A bear is stronger than a man. Like the bear will bite I know, your so, head then. So, Either way, we physically we lose to the two options. Right. So to us, the the deciding factor I think is the consequence of being attacked because I've had I've been you know like abused by men sexually or mm. whatever whatever, and I've had responses from other people saying like, oh it's not that big a deal, you know. But if I got attacked by a bear and I told someone, would they tell me that like oh it's not that big of a deal? No one would say that. They'd be like, oh my god, are you serious? How bad is it? How are you okay? They would actually show genuine concern. And I've had friends also tell me stuff like, oh, you know, don't spread, you know, the stories of you getting like sexually abused by other men to other people because they might judge you, you know, they might they might see you differently. Mm-hmm. If I told people stories of me getting attacked by a bear, mm-hmm. no one would see me differently in that sense. Because you'd be you know? dead eh. I mean, our point. we do know the consequences of getting attacked by a bear. We know how ferocious it can yeah. get. Obviously, we don't know like when to run or when to drop dead or when to scare them back right. or whatever, but we do know how bad it can get. I'm just saying the consequences of getting mm. attacked by men and getting attacked by a bear, mm. people take the consequences of a bear more seriously. I, I, I think what's- what Agree. Mean, Agree. I think what's interesting for me is that majority of the discussions that I've seen online or even like with my friends is that the, the women choose <laughs> bear because they are afraid that the men might abuse them, might do something like really bad to them. But like to us is that you're more likely to rationalize with a person as opposed to a bear. Yeah. So like why is the assumption that if you meet a guy, they are going to do something bad to you? Because there are a lot of instances I think women experience, right? Where they are not in a position to even have that rationality with yeah, a yeah, guy yeah. and right. then yeah. things happen to them. La. For yeah. example, like let's say you trust a doctor, right? And then you go for surgery and then when you wake up halfway accidentally, uh. they end up like sexually harassing you well, or like specific touching example. you. And then yeah. technically like you trust the person, ma, they have the yeah. the skill set. But then it's not in your, you're not even given the position, right? To even say, have a choice. Yeah, You're just like getting like sexually harassed lah. Yeah. So I feel like that's why women would choose. So in that situation, bear. you can either have a doctor operate on you or a bear. Huh? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like I rather die. So, so this is the question, right? Why, how how yeah. have we gotten to a point where it feels like no matter who you meet, if it's a guy, hundred percent they will attack you, as opposed to a bear who will hundred percent. No, you, no, no. That's not hundred percent either. A bear might not attack you. Yeah. See, I think that's it's a misconception like, as well. So a man. Okay, okay. So, so let's say, let's say you get a bad run in with a man sexually assaulted, for example, for example, right? Mm. Or you have a bad run in with a a bear, mm. So the bad 
the bam like hey yo I'm taking this so seriously okay I don't want this is laughing okay <laughs> <laughs> no go, go 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 I think men and women are interpreting like, let me reframe <laughs> might be interpreting the question a little bit differently yeah. so, like, mm. so for guys we just think about how ferocious Survival. the fucking bear yeah. is and like how even if we ourselves as a man find a grizzly bear while we're trekking right we also know oh god we are dead mm. versus meet another guy when we're trekking right mm. and I think that's what guys are thinking mm. when they answer that question but women might be thinking that I have met a lot of asshole men. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? But because the reaction, public reaction to being attacked by a bear versus being attacked by a man is a lot bigger. And because one of it, right, your face no longer on your face. Eh. But there's some sad is truth to that, right? Why we have this... Yeah, right? no, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which, Which I guess is eye-opening. Because eye we're not even thinking about it the same way. Mm. Yeah. In that, like, if I go to the zoo and there's a fence and one of it is a zookeeper office and a bear, I must stand here and look at the bear. I don't want to stand in the bear thing and look at yeah, the zookeeper. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Is what <laughs> is thinking. Oh, but I remember mm. now my initial answer was men and then Denise told me like, huh, you crazy? You know, bears are not, like they're not e- aggressive. Oh, like, how many bears has she met in her life? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, think she Googled it or something. Ah, Google. Uh, if you see like sun bears or what, then they are not aggressive. La. Yeah, it depends on the bear. La. I think the, the biggest takeaway is don't take it personal. When we say mm. we choose the bear, it's not, it's it's not, not us saying yeah. like, if you men suck. It's just us saying we would rather not give the benefit of the doubt when a doubt isn't benefiting us. That's it. Mm. Like we really Mm. just rather pick the bear that may or may not attack us. But if they do attack us, like people will take us seriously. You know, we can actually do something about it. That's it. But uh, again, not there are, there are, to to be fair to the men, uh, there are some women who take it to, to the extreme. Oh yeah, for sure. sure. Statistically, American men are roughly 20 times more deadly to women than bears. Uh Aha, there you go. Oh, interesting. Okay, so thank you guys for watching another episode of The Daily Catch Up. If you have any additional comments for these men right here, please leave them in the comment section down below and join our Telegram community. If not, sayonara, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Like, okay, when when the concept (laughs) of pit porn come out, was it not very weird? (laughs) Because there was a free option and there's a pay option. Like Pornhub Pro, uh. Sure, but it was weird lah, cause it's not like I really commit to it ma. Uh-huh. You know? Okay. <laughs> it's not like I will download the app and then I wanna see what's new and be the latest and get the full length. You know what I mean? Like okay, if okay. porn if it's like an hour, you also don't watch the f- hour, like. Right? So you just stick you to, skip, the, yeah. to the past. Like, you maybe uh, watch a bit of the middle, then a, a yeah. bit of the front, a bit of the middle, a bit of the end. Ma. I bit, thought like, you watch job. it for the storyline. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't understand Japanese. <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> no? See, oh, see, that's one of the reasons you might want to pay for subtitles, right? Uh, so someone will sub it for you. So you feel like, actually, yeah. you look at it. You make comfortable living $7 a month and get subtitles. Not bad, what? You feel like, what's this difference from Netflix? You know, you, tell, you start telling all this shit. Then you go and bust a nut and you're like, what? I almost spent $7. <laughs> <laughs> that is post <laughs> <laughs>